too. Bottle caps and bottle sweet caps tarts. Yeah. Uh-uh. I'm more of a chocolate gal. Snickers. I've had a lot of sugar today. <laughs> 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 Scott, you got to save us, my friend. What's your favorite candy, by the way? Uh, Snickers. Snickers and Reese's. Actually, yeah. probably Reese's, then Snickers. Re like Reese's monkeys? I'm a, ch I'm a chocolate kid. Oh, Reese's. Reese's. Yeah. yeah. So do we have more Weather Whiz Kids tonight? We do, and we've got oh. one that's go talking, going into outer space. I thought we'd uh, try that tonight. A very special question. A good question. One I've never had at all the uh, times that we've had uh, Weather Whiz Kid questions. We've had lots of them, and here it is. Hello, my name is Gage Thompson from Barbara Morgan STEM Academy, and today I'm asking a question about weather. Why do meteors fall apart in the mesosphere? That's pretty deep stuff. How about that one? Why do meteors fall apart in the mesosphere? Well, as a meteorologist, I focus mostly on the troposphere, which is the lower layer of the atmosphere, where the temperature decreases, gets cooler with height, and then the stratosphere, the temperature increases, actually gets warmer through the stratosphere, and then in the mesosphere, the mid layers, this is about 30 to 60 miles, this layer right here above the Earth, and uh, the, the temperature here decreases rapidly as well. But this is the, the basically the upper part of where we have more of a concentration of air in the gas and as meteors come in, they finally get into collision uh, with some of the gases moving at that rapid pace, and that tends to break up most of the meteors. We get 40 tons, on average, of meteors colliding with the Earth's atmosphere every single day, anywhere between 1 and 200, the average between 40 tons per day. So it's pretty amazing stuff as it comes on in, and then uh, basically this is where it's all breaking on up. So when you look at it, planes are flying down here in the troposphere, Troposphere here's the highest point in the Earth. Uh, balloons and weather balloons can go way up to here, uh, into just breaking into the stratosphere. This is the mesosphere here, and this is really protecting us. We have a thicker atmosphere. That's why you see a lot of craters in the moon and planets like Mercury with a much thinner atmosphere. The, the meteorites uh, make it to the ground, and it may look like this over there, but most of these burn up. It's only in those pretty wild movies that we see that we get the really big ones coming in, at least recently. Yeah. That he even knew to ask you that question. Of course, he is going to Barbara Morgan yes. STEM Academy. So <laughs> I, heard, right. I heard that one, and I thought, I better mm -hmm. do my research on this one. <laughs> I love it. Bruce Thanks. Willis on there behind you? Yeah, yeah he's right here. <laughs> he's right there. He's right, right there. He's in the button right now. <laughs> Eva Longoria will be a